tonight we have one of my favorite guest speakers, Jules Meeker, who is joining us. She actually lives not far from us now in Colorado, down in the Monument, Colorado area, which I'm so excited. She's so close. And we need to go play, Jules. I know. What's up with that? We haven't even paddleboarded or anything. Back to school. We will. Okay. <laughs> Back to school. Yes. Yeah, so you guys, I met Jules up in Steamboat. You guys have probably heard me talk about this before when she was just kind of like putting her toe in the water about Juice Plus, but she was always fun and vivacious and we would set up luncheons and I would drive up there and um, one of our team members up there, we would host these luncheons and we always opened them up to sidelines and Jules always came and brought lots of people and then her business, she decided to kind of jump in with both feet and has built her business over many moves in many cities, <laughs> but she has always been consistent and she's such a light She's a personal fitness trainer. I think, you know, I was looking at your LinkedIn, which you need to update, by the way, um, as national marketing director. <laughs> She's got every certificate you can ever think of, whether it's Pilates or yoga or spinning or whatever. She knows how to do it. She's probably one of the most fit people I know as well. And just a huge example of really living health the way that we should be living it. And also with her attitude, she's always a bright light for people to, you know, have that can-do attitude. And... So tonight she's going to be talking about back to school and even if you guys don't have kids going back to school, maybe you're out of that phase like me, you have to agree with me that there's always a rhythm in the world about this time that it kind of feels like you should get back to work after the kids go back to school. So I know I still feel that way even though my kids are out of school. So with that, Jules, I'm going to turn it over to you, girl. Awesome. Um, you do want me to share my story quickly because I... I Okay, great. Yep. I figured I was like, oh, it's so fun to see a lot of the faces and, and your team, but there's a lot that I have not had the privilege to meet. So hopefully in Tampa, of course, if you see me just in the hall, say hi, because it's always fun to actually in, meet in person. Say, hey, I was on Reagan's call and you spoke last month and I would love to meet you. I really mean that. Um, but thanks for the introduction and the love and the feelings and all of that is <laughs> so mutual. Um, and I have to say kudos to Regan. She really did open up to sideline um, in a season where we didn't have a lot of upline um, support because my upline's all NMDs are in the East Coast. And so she was always so gracious. I mean, that's our, co that's our culture, right? To open it up. And there was a time when I remember bringing like 10 to your lunch and you're like, Jules, you're kind of taking the seats. I'm like, I'm sorry, Reagan, but you were so welcoming in that. You know, you were so gracious. I'm like, thanks for being so cool and putting on a great show. We, Dr. Phillips was there. I'll never forget. It was like 10 years ago, but I have been within this business, this company, this incredible mission, this lifestyle for 11 years. Within my story though, you'll hear, I haven't really been living the lifestyle until about four and a half years ago. So 11 years ago, I found Juice Plus. I was a full-time Pilates instructor. Thank you for reminding me on LinkedIn because I am terrible with that, but that's another network on purpose. I'm writing that down. Um, but yeah, so just basically my background is all fitness for 12 years. I have seven different certifications. So ranging from spin and CrossFit Pilates, I, that was my world and I love it still. I mean, I still work out, you know, three to four, five days a week, depends on the week. Sometimes it's one and that's great too, right? But I love living our mission within that. Made sense to me 11 years ago. I was 24 years old because I finally realized I was not taking multivitamins past graduating high school and going into college. My mother actually literally had a vitamin book and she had me and I just swore them off because they never made me feel good. And I knew there was just a link missing between whole foods and that synthetic vitamin. You know, you just know it within yourself. And at 18, I knew it. And so I had, I had shunned them. And so what 24, I'd never found a solution. I really didn't think there was a solution until Juice Plus was brought into my life, into Steamboat Pilates and Fitness. And it took me a bit, honestly, it took me a bit to listen to my girlfriend, Lori Egner, who was an acquaintance friend of mine. So I had nine months of dripping, no doubt. Um, she finally handed me a CD. I was on a road trip. She, and I would, said I would listen to it because I was going to tell her why I was not going to take this Juice Plus stuff on Monday. I thought it was synthetic vitamin. 
And once I heard Dr. Richard Du Bois explain Juice Plus, I and my husband, he was in the car too, we were hooked. We started the trio. It was before the Omegas of the bars. We started the trio and the shakes. And literally, I mean, it's been 11 years and you guys know, you travel, you got the bullet with you, you got everything. We never miss a day. Why would you? And it's been awesome. I mean, just awesome. We don't have a family doctor. Every time I go in for what, you know, like what you have to go in for, they ask my family doctors, like, I don't have one because <laughs> I just am, go for well checkups. And they're like, well, that's great. Okay. And um, like, how grateful, you know, when you really sit and think about that in 11 years, I don't have a family doctor, right? I go in what I have to go in for every few years. And that's the like, wow, incredible. And um, I'm so excited, you know, to go into 20, 30 years on Juice Plus. So the business for me, I did have those seven certifications. I had my own personal training bit business. In Steamboat, I trained people in their homes and I trained out of CrossFit. And I, I was, I didn't think I could fit more peas on the plate, but to be honest, like if you've heard me speak before, I always say, I did have the I'm too cool syndrome. I was a CrossFit instructor, Pilates instructor, bar, and those titles get people's attention. And I didn't realize it, but my ego really liked that when I would tell someone like, oh yeah, I am a CrossFit instructor and I helped open the Steamboat CrossFit. They really thought that was neat. And so I got hung up on being as passionate and confident in this business until four and a half years ago, we got to a point, I started staying, I was home with two babies, three and one. And we got to a point that there was more month at the end of the money, right? And a lot of people feel that even though a lot of us don't talk about it, but I'm one that just, I'm like, Hey, what you see is what you get. Because if I struggled with it, my gosh, how many other people struggled? And I went to pay for groceries one Tuesday afternoon, who knows, but I'm guessing, um, <laughs> Future habit. And um, I got declined credit card and debit. And it was that moment of like sheer, just for me, that was for me, my moment of, okay, I've got to do something. I don't want to put those babies in daycare. I'm already teaching like eight classes a week because they have free daycare at the gym, but that's all I want to do. I don't want to, I don't want to get any thinner because I love being a mom first and foremost. So I want to do X, I want to be an excellent mom, intentional. So I literally did my business, started doing my business when my babies were one and three, four and a half years ago, uh, when they were napping. So at night, when they'd go to bed at 6.30, I would do calls at night. Before they'd get up at six, I would do calls in the morning. And from one to three, you better believe I was your gal. Doing three-way calls and I was working this business. And I'll tell you, I will never, you know those moments in life where you want to be the victim or the victor? And the victim piece wants to be like, I wish it never happened to me. No, like if that one to happen, I would have sat back and not treated this like a true business and gotten over my ego and my insecurities and all that. And this business is what got us back to Colorado to move back to Colorado because my husband was teaching at a college in Wyoming for the benefits. And so once I got the benefits package, we got to move back to Colorado. Um, Reagan, are you, I'm sure you're mute. Awesome. Um, we got to move back to Colorado. And now, you know, four and a half years later, we have still have zero debt. Um, we have more in savings than we thought. We travel a ton. You know, it's, it's truly, and most important though, it's given us the ability to be in our kids' lives, drop off, pick up, after school we read. That's truly what it's like. It's such a gift. It's such a gift that we get to be there for our kids. So a longer uh, story, but I just want it hits a lot of different pieces, even if you don't have kids, you know, the debt thing or, or what is it for you that if you've been holding back, like stake in the ground, it's time to rev it up. And here are some tangible things to grow your business. Again, Reagan said, even if you don't have kids or your kids are grown, isn't it amazing how seasonally like fall hits and you go kind of into a different flow. Summertime is a very free and liberated, right? We all get that. And that's what we love about summer. And then fall hits the crisper air in the morning, it really does shift us. And that's the natural rhythm. And so again, if you don't have kiddos, if whatever, don't get, don't get wigged out by that. Think about it as you're shifting gears into the fall. It's getting a little slower and more rhythmic. And um, so here we go. So here's, here's some things that I just hosted a call for our Comstock Shepley East Coast side. A few weeks ago and 
And I actually had four guests speak on these different points. So some of the team desktop, and I unfortunately have to look down, so sorry if I'm not looking at you at times. But here's the deal. With going back into consistent activity, and that's what I mean by going back to school, it's just going back to consistent activity. We've got to be intentional with our Juice Plus lifestyle. And these, what? hey, I encourage you to look at that. Why is it? And B, like, hey, maybe try something else. So here's some ideas that my girlfriend said, like vehicle stickers on your vehicle. Like nothing says I am all out than a sticker that says Juice Plus on your rig, especially, you know, and, I, and my girlfriend from the East Coast was like, you know, I got a new car and people were so confused, like, where's your sticker? And she was like, I really realized, like, I have to go back to conference, get another one because they, it's my branding. Um, so simple things like that. Yeah, like hats, water bottles, t-shirts, you know, hoodies, tanks, yoga pants, something where it can be very subtle. It doesn't have to be blaring if that is not your style, but something where people are going to see and go, huh, okay. Uh, drinking a shake out of, you know, that water bottle that Reagan's drinking. Um, I have that a lot at school drop off and pick up because of my shakes. And when people see that, you know, I'm just standing there and it's just, it's very passive, but people pick up on stuff like crazy. So again, if a hat's too much for you think of that water bottle or that shaker bottle that it's just as plus on the side people are going to notice and they go wow she's always drinking a smoothie and you know and and we are shiny happy people I mean, we just are. We choose what we feel good and getting Bible studies, okay? Um, mops groups, if you have little littles, um, you can meet, go on meetup.com and you could go, if you're into motorcycling, I see a lot of um, men on this call, which is so fun. But like John and Adam, like maybe you're into motorcycles, like join a motorcycle club and go every Tuesday night and you can ride with them. Or maybe you're into mountain biking. You get the point. It doesn't have to be around kiddos. You pick what you're passionate about. And I would say and encourage if it could be a longer class period, like maybe it's fine, like cuisine cooking, or it's, you want to take up vegan cooking because a shred kind of throws you off and Hey, go get some recipes. You get the point. What are your passions? Find those passions on meetup.com. And preferably again, if it's like a six week period where you can establish relationships, you can friend them on Facebook, you can connect, you could then go to tea or coffee after lunch. If you've made that, you know, you just click. That's how we do it, right? But um, here's some, just a ton of other things that, that another team member came up with. You know, she does um, actually mom walking groups. So she lives on a park, at a park. And so she's creating this fitness group where they drop off. She's a, she's a block from the elementary school, which is really awesome. And then the park is right there as well. So she's creating a group where they just walk the park and they chat and it's a mom group. It's a social group. And not, and she's actually really not even talking about juice plus within this group. This is just making deposits, right? She also has something where she, after drop off, come over for some shakes. So it's just a so social connection with mamas and shakes. And especially for someone like Mel, if you're trying to reestablish and connections and meet people, sometimes you really have to put yourself out there and be like, Hey, you know what? I'm looking for some great girlfriends. I'm new to town. And Mel, I'm right there with you, like still in Monument. I'm still in that phase after even a year because I didn't, I didn't shift into that early enough here. So I'm really being intentional of like, hey, I'm just establishing some good girlfriends. You want to go to lunch or do you want to go to walk with me on the trail? Um, what other ones? Um, obviously, you know, if you're in school, you have kids in school, volunteering with the PTO, you know, getting connected within that, getting connected in the classrooms, knowing the teachers. You better believe that I give low care packages to the teachers, back to school health. Here's our amazing shape. Thank you for being an amazing first grade teacher with 25 kids, you know, and they appreciate it. And that's a connection point. That's a drip. So you're loving on those teachers. You're giving them this juice samples. You're giving them the bars and shakes. And that's a drip. You know, that's an intentional network. Um, Oh, here's a really cool one that I got from this book. Are you guys reading this yet, Regan? Get Which over your darn self. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we read that last month. 
Oh man, so good. So one of the things she says is like, okay, if you're going to, um, she just says like, if you're going to go, oh, that's what it was. If you're going to Starbucks, go on, don't go through the drive-thru, like go into Starbucks and you never know who you're going to meet. That's how I feel about drop off and pick up at my school. It's a smaller school, so it's not as crazy. So I'm not sure you guys are, but like, it's easy to walk up to school, see like five mamas that I know. A lot of them go to the Y too. And again, it's that connection point. You're making those friendships and establishing trust. So it's, it would be easy for me to drive through every day, but instead I park and I take the 10 minutes to walk in, right? I mean, just thinking again, if that's not, you're not dropping off, Starbucks, um, insert whatever. And sometimes even like, I love our delivery services from Whole Foods, Sprouts, things like that. But if we get everything delivered all the time, we're never getting out of our house too, right? Like that's the only downside of our business. Like it's awesome, but not all the time. Like I just want to encourage you and I, because trust me, like Whole Foods delivers. Okay, excellent. I never, right? And then even that spin bike inside, um, I forget the name of it. I have not bought it because I was like, no, no, no. If I keep getting all these things in my house, I will never leave because it's comfortable, right? And yeah. this book says, like, if we go into 80% coaching mode, we're not building our business. It is intentional networking and connecting with people. Okay, let me see what else. Um, obviously, you could do, like, a happy hour with friends, um, with your mama friends from school or any friends. But you can get into, like, a rhythm of wine and friend night on Thursday nights just because. Like, why not? You know, because, you know... Maybe Adrian and Adam and John, after your Harley ride, you could go to get a beer. You know what I mean? Like whatever, whatever you feel, you're making that just something fun with those friends. And it's, again, you're becoming a professional friend, a networker and a joy, person that has joy. Um, okay, let me just scan. Obviously fitness classes, that's a great one especially we all, a lot of us live in this area, the front range, how many gyms are constantly opening that even have like a free week. So don't you, even if you're starting this business and you don't have a huge budget for that, there's no excuses. There's always free stuff offered or half off. You get the point. Okay. So moving right along to the third thing, promoting the shred September really heavily through May. And let's be honest, a lot of us fall off the wagon June, July, August with barbecues, beer, wine, and traveling. And that's okay. There's grace. However, September really is the new January. Like, did a lot of us build for the September shred? For sure. I just started today. Um, it's huge. Same with October, November. It really is. And so being really diligent on promoting the shred, posting it on social media, um, because people always are watching every time it blows my mind. I'm like, no way. So-and-so reached out and she just ordered the quad and the shake. I'm so glad I posted that on Facebook about building for the shred again. Um, so just staying consistent, promoting healthy school lunches is the fourth thing that one of my team members did really excellently. She printed off the healthy living revolution. There's a PDF in there and her boys, um, I've seen it at her house. She has it on their counter and her boys actually circle what they want per, uh, for the week, right? So they pick a protein, they pick a fruit, they veg, carb, things like that. And she's, she's a teacher within the school district. And so many people couldn't believe that her kids, right? were eating what they were eating. Like a lot of our juice plus babies, like carrots and tomatoes and cucumbers. And my son actually loves tofu. So he just has cold tofu. <laughs> Is that bizarre? He's a juice plus baby. Um, so that's honestly, she got a ton of people intrigued by that. She gave them the healthy living revolution PDF on building healthy school lunches. She said, well, it's actually because of these chews. Check this out. And then she really just, you know, she really promoted our healthy living revolution lifestyle. So again, I hope these are just like little, you know, ideas that you haven't thought of. And then you're posting that on social media. You better believe it. Like, hey, we have free sources, resources. Who needs ideas for school lunches that are not, I mean, our school lunches are Domino's pizza today, like tomorrow's chicken nuggets. You know, it's just terrifying. It is terrifying as we all know. So if you're blasting that on social media, um, people are going to respond and want that. And of course you could do private Facebook events and build around that. You know, the, it's really endless what you can do, but don't forget about that. 
The fifth thing I wanted to touch on that another team member, she's a teacher, she is actually building and creating community ed classes with the Tower Garden. And I actually had never thought of that. So in Minnesota, in a lot of cities, I'm not sure monuments, but they have community ed classes, right? Like Colorado Springs, Denver. She built like a trifold little thing. And it, it's a, I want to say it's like a three class um, session, you know, three classes within this that they signed up for. And of course, you have to be careful. She can't quite go in for the sale of it. But she's educating on what aeroponic gardening is, all of Tower Garden. You know, she has a Tower Garden there. She has the trifold. From there, of course, people then ask about Tower Garden. She says, you know what? Let me, you know, I'm going to call you, set up a separate time outside of this class. She sold a Tower Garden. She just did this last April, and it was her first class. And, of course, she sold the Tower Garden. She only had, like, four people sign up. That's pretty good odds. I mean, that's, I have to say. Um, she has two more community ed classes that she's doing at the Tower Garden in October. I thought that was pretty brilliant. Right. So you don't have, you can do it because you're not necessarily selling. You're sharing aeroponic gardening and teaching the community on aeroponic gardening. But as we know, they always lead to bigger conversations. Um, obviously, getting Tower Gardens in schools. That's like a no-brainer. If you guys are not doing that, even if you don't have kiddos, like, absolutely go talk to preschools all the way up. They are always interested. Always. We um, have two at the Palmer Lake Elementary and it's just a no brainer. And if you don't know where to start, there are grants that you can apply for. Just Google like how to write a grant for Minnesota. I have a team member in Minnesota that literally Googled that and she found this grant that she's going to write to get this garden at her Catholic private school for her kids. So where there's a will, there's a way. And again, if you have kids or not, definitely help get those gardens within the schools because as we know, it's a huge door. It's one of our doors that we can utilize. Okay. And of course, boys and girls clubs. I have a, the sixth thing, I have a PDF that I'm going to send Reagan when I'm done. I had built this back when my kiddos were in preschool. Um, it's, it's the red, yellow, and green light handout that is through Dr. Sears that I just kind of added in a little bit at the end of what to also add into your kid's lifestyle, which is juice plus and fresh air and water and fitness. And so I actually did like a little conversation. And again, I really didn't bring in juice plus a lot into these preschool parents. It was a parent night and she asked me to share something. And so I created this document again, a lot of it pulling from Dr. Sears. Um, but I will share that with Reagan. And the reason I share that is because if even again, if you don't have kids in preschool age or you don't even have kiddos, you could still guest speak at a preschool and say, Hey, my passion is to help kids at four and five. Cause that's really where it starts. As we know, take control of their health and make choices of what is red light. Like we never want to eat that yellow and green. And you can explain all this, show the PDF even. At the very end, I deleted my contact information, of course. So you would edit that Word document, put in your contact information, your website, your Tower Garden website. Again, it's just really getting our, over ourselves and having those hard conversations in places like even a preschool where you're like, I don't know anything about preschool kids. Like, who cares? Do you love kids? Do you love people? Then get in there and, and offer a conversation. But this is something tangible that if then if you get in, you go, now what? I could give Reagan at least it's a starting point for you that would, you know, you feel a little confident. Another thing that um, Tina, she's a rep out of Connecticut, she did a smoothies for kindergartners for her daughter's kindergarten class. She went in, made smoothies, talked about Juice Plus Chewies, and then she gave a handout at the end of the day to bring home. So it didn't feel like her kiddos were like, so it didn't feel like she was selling to these kindergartners, you know, and that it would give a bad taste to the parents. And it basically is a really nice handout that says, hey, this is who I am. This is my passion. You know, I'm passionate about helping these kids get on the right foot of nutrition. And this is what I talked about today. So I'm also going to uh, put that in an email to you, Reagan. And again, if that's helpful to you, awesome. If it's not, no worries. But stepping out, having those hard conversations, saying, hey, I'm a health coach in Denver 
would you be open to me coming and speaking in, in your kindergarten class? And why, you know? Thank you so much. Yeah, so I'll send those to you. And then the last thing, because I know with time, um, this is pretty brilliant and it takes some serious courage. This is again another Tina. Um, she's a QNMD. And under Ellie Shepley, she is going to create swag bags. There's my Minnesota accent. You hear that? <laughs> swag bag? <laughs> um, for athletic teams and classrooms. So her, you know, her kids play like three sports and they're in kindergarten, first grade. And so she is actually going to create those bags that have smoothie, choose her business card, whatever else you want to put in there, put whatever in there, maybe a sticker. I don't know. But she is like, I am nervous about this, Jules. Like we had this conversation before I call. She goes, I am nervous about this because if I say it out loud, then I'm going to have to do this. And that is scary. Like going up and handing out all these swag bags to these parents after football. I mean, that is intimidating, right guys? But she's going to do it. And, I, and I'm so excited. She's, she's inspiring me. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm going to be there. Are we all going to be there? <laughs> and she's also going to give these within the classrooms of her first graders and everyone else. I've definitely done that. Another great thing that I know a lot of us do, because I see it on social media, for Halloween, we stick a fun little like cute poem or something to chew samples and we give it for Halloween instead of sugary candy. Um, I've done that for years. Yep. So you could add the fruit, veggie and the berry now. Um, I do that for Valentine's every time. I do it for Halloween every time. And sure, is it a little bit of investment when you have 25 kiddos? Yeah, but is it worth it to at least drip and the parents go, what is this stuff? Oh, I, I've seen her sticker on her car. See yeah. where it just continues to drip. Okay, and then last thing, it wouldn't be a call if you didn't have a little call to action. So here's our call to action. So I wanna encourage you all to reach out, and this is going to be really lofty, but I just threw it out there. If you reach out to three to five people a day, that comes up to 60 to 100 connections in a month. Just like this gal says, right? Like huge connections, huge, you know, looping and tons of follow-up. And that's where our business is. Like I want to be a hundred club, hundred club NMD. Guess what that's going to take? All of those conversations and more. Like that's just the reality. Reagan's had a lot of conversations in her life. That's why she's successful. That's the magic of it, right? That's all you do is be consistent and talk to a ton of people. So here's your challenge. So if three to five is just paralyzing, then do one to two guys, like do one to two and you're still going to win at the end of the month. So right. every day I want to encourage you Monday through Friday. That's just Monday through Friday. Reach out to someone on Facebook. You could call them. You could Text whatever means you want. I prefer either texting, voicemail. I prefer calling first, but often people don't answer, right? So then I'll, I like voice messaging, either via text, Facebook memo, you know, voice memo, or a voice mail on actually calling them. And what I'm going to say is say, hey, hey, Adam, you know, say you have kids, Adam. Um, <laughs> I know the kids are back to school, switches back to flu and cold season. I'd love to share with you how I'm going to do my best to avoid catching the common cold for our family. It's all about boosting the immune system with more fruits and veggies um, every single day. And the best yet is kids eat free. How cool is that? If I sent you a video, would you watch it? If not, no worries. Let me know. And remember, of course, I sounded scripted for the first half and then I realized like, oh, be, just be Jules, you know, be you. But leaving that voice message, people often are not going to say no, right? You're going to leave that next video or that you make that face-to-face -face connection. But if you do one to two, Monday through Friday or three to five, think about where your business are, are going to be, even when going to conference, you guys, Tampa next month. And you're going to run up to me in the hall and say, oh my goodness, by doing this, I just brought on 50 customers. So that's my challenge to you. Um, and again, if you don't have kiddos, you could just say, Hey, you know what? Oftentimes this, this season people are, you know, you're getting sick and, and flu, you know, now I'm, uh, tongue tied, but you know what I'm saying? Like you could totally do this without having kiddos. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. A lot of information. I will definitely get those, uh, attachments to you, but any questions of what I've shared? Does anybody have any questions for Jules? Jules, that was awesome. Like, I don't know how many ideas we had, but 
enough to keep me busy for the next three, four, five years. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yay. Any questions? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. I have a question. Yes, Ellen. What do you say when people ask you what you do? Gosh, it depends on the conversation. So who, who like who, like, is it a teacher? Is it a mama friend? Is it? Good. That's a good question. So you kind of differentiate depending on who you're talking to. I, well, I speak to the person. That's terrific. Right? So like if, yeah. So because like, even in this book, if I'm talking to a millennial, I'm not going to be like, you know, I am a health and lifestyle coach. I help women. I help. It's just different for everybody. So yeah. I mean, um, because a millennial, if they don't have kiddos and they have not experienced what it's like to have to stay home and not bring in a second income, I'm not going to share any of, well, that and my, my business story, but uh, I still coach with the company that memory <laughs> since day one, um, because I always like just asking, have you heard of it yet? And there's a ton of like verbiage, you know, you could say, I'm a health agent with a health food agency called Juice Plus. Have you heard of it yet? For me, um, that doesn't flow yet for me. I have to practice that more. So what comes off my tongue is just, I'm a health and lifestyle coach with a company called Juice Plus. Have you heard of it yet? And they're like, no. I was like, oh my goodness. And then the, literally that's all I usually say. Now, again, if I'm talking to, I, I, can, I can weave other things into that um, depending on who is asking. But that's like my fast, Ellen. I guess I should have just answered it that way. No, that's, I mean, that's, I actually really like that you said that because um, I think that's kind of an art learning to, you know, answer that question when you're talking to so many different types of people. You know, what do you say to somebody you just met in Whole Foods and you're talking about the price of organic apples versus a mom you've been working out with every day for the last year? You know, it's just, it's different. Totally. That's awesome. Because honestly, the mom with Whole Foods, I'd probably just say, hey, oh my gosh, I know the struggle's real. Hey, I'm a health coach with a company called Juice Plus. Have you heard of it yet? I wouldn't even talk, you know, like, and, and that's a quick, like, if you're literally picking out an apple and a, you have that conversation, you have 10 seconds. So it has to be within, I am a health coach. Have you heard of it yet? Oh, you haven't? Oh man, you know what? What's your information? I would love, you know, next week, I think I have like Tuesday, two o'clock available last I saw it because you want to make sure you're super busy. So you're not the creeper. I'm serious. It's an art, right? <laughs> and he goes, hey, you know, I can squeeze in it too at the juicer, juicery bar down. Can you meet? Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, I will call you and remind you. Um, right. So it's just, it's those quick ones. Other right. ones, like if they're a business savvy person, if they're real estate or something, I definitely weave in. I, you know, I'm a business coach. I'm a lifestyle and business coach. Um, I've been in the health industry for 11 years. Have you heard of, Ju you know, something where I'm bringing in, I'm a rock and business, I'm a rock and business coach and you're looking for another option, but the mama whole, and then, you know what, at the same time, she would disagree with me. She would say, everyone deserves to know the business coaching. So as I'm saying that, that's interesting, right, Reagan? Because that mom at Whole Foods is looking for that business just as much as that real estate agent, whatever. So that's a good, that's you kind of tripped me up, actually. I mean, Erica might have a follow-up question, but she and I were talking about this very thing today. Um, and how do you have those conversations often quickly, sometimes with a screaming kid hanging off your leg? Mommy, mommy, mom, 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 mom. You know, and you're like, I'm a, I'm a business rock and health coach. Mommy, mom, mom, mom. <laughs> totally. <laughs> really yep. like that. I'm and so there's a question that might help everybody. Yep. <laughs> so if somebody says, what do you do? You want to buy yourself a little time with the words, well, well, do you know how? So that gives you time to bet where, are you talking to the person picking out the apple or the mom with the screaming baby? You know, you can say something like, well, do you know how it, you know, it's so hard to get affordable produce or do you know how it's so hard to get these kids to eat right, right? So you can always say, well, do you know how that's a neuro-linguistic? 
And then you can say, well, what I do is I help people flood their body with lots of produce with a product called Juice Plus. Have you heard of it? So you, that brings in the business and the product at the same time. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. And that's why she's a hunter club, folks. Boom. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> <It'd be a laughs> long time. But, you know, that way you can talk to that person, but you've always got, well, do you know how and what I do is, and you make it relatable with that, whatever that person's story is. Okay. I love that. Beautiful. Awesome. Any other questions for Jules? You guys, I know we're over a little bit, but it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. So oh. good. Oh my gosh, I feel like you you packed us a lunch and kissed us goodbye and put us on the school bus and we're confident and ready to go. <laughs> You're available. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. If you have one quick second, Jules, I would love to hear why you think that going to attending a conference is so important mm -hmm. when um, you're getting back to building your business, especially when it comes to coming up right here in October. Oh, yeah. So for sure. And, and I know there can be every excuse, trust me. I mean, just truly, but there, this comp, when we excel at this, this business, this within this industry, some people don't like that term, but truly it is the four beliefs and it's product, business, company, and industry. And when you go to comp conference, it gives you that confidence that people are then also attracted to you tenfold. So what I mean by that is like, we are attracted to confidence, right? If you heard me train before, I'd talk about Top Gun and all of that, and it's oozing confidence. And so that's why sometimes we have to fake, fake it till we become it and just fake the confidence until, hey, I do feel rocking. Or, um, but con conference is what gives us that. We believe deeper in the product because you just hear so many incredible things about our research and the doctors, okay? the company, you see all these NMDs and people are succeeding and, and you realize it's tangible. Hey, if that mom of six at home schools can reach NMD, I literally am making up way too many excuses. Really? Cause then I go, I have two. Okay. I could totally do this. You know, really it's the confidence in that. Um, you meet your business partners, you know, and it, so, so on and so forth. So I do really, really encourage you. And there's always ways that you can split costs, but definitely and even if you've been and you feel like, you know what, I just don't, I'm just going to miss this one. I will tell you, your business shows it. Absolutely. And my team that doesn't come, it, it's unfortunate. But then six months later, they're like, I'm just frustrated. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And, and you can just see that. And it's, and it's, their belief wasn't relit. You know, it's like going to church on Sundays. You just refuels you. So I think yeah. it puts you back a year, not six months, because yes. it takes six months for you to kind of go, oh yeah, I should probably do something. And then six months to kind of re-gear back up. Yep. Yeah, totally. So yeah, it's not too late. Obviously we have a little over a month. I just had two people book their flights this weekend. Yeah. So yay, right? If you're moving forward in your business and you get to national marketing director a year ahead, that's yeah. a six figure or more earlier Yes. Then you would have had. So is it worth it you to invest in your education to go? Absolutely. You know? Yeah. And it's fun, right? You get to know all these people and they do become family. Every time you go, you, I get to know friends deeper and it's fun. And you go, wow, this is a culture and a tribe. I never am going to leave ever, you know? And so that's priceless as well. So belief so definitely hit conference. Awesome. Reagan, one thing, Thanks, you said, do you know how? And then what was the next question? I didn't get it. What I do is. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Well, Jules, thank you so much. That was absolutely incredible. One of our best calls with the best ideas. Thank you so much for jazzing up our team and giving us great ideas at harvest time. And we just so appreciate you and love you. And love we're you. so blessed to have you part of our community. And so everybody unmute and say thank you to Jules. Thank, Thank you, Jules. Have a good night. Thank you. You're awesome. Jules. See you in Tampa. Yay. Definitely. Bye. Awesome. Good night. Bye. Bye.